Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich here. Possibly tonight into early Tuesday morning, we have the potential for a meteor burst. Now you probably have seen this all over the social media channels and all over online, but here's the thing about this meteor burst. It's an all or nothing proposition and the chances of it being nothing have kind of trended up in the last, uh, I'd say a couple of weeks or so. It was a meteor shower that I was keeping a close eye on early in the year when I thought there was a possibility of this happening. But what's happened over time is it looks like the debris is much slower moving, which deters the chance of it being very vivid. But if you're up between 12.45 a.m. and 1.15 a.m., basically about a 30 to 45 minute time span there, it's worth taking a look. I'll show you where to look. This is over the Carolinas tonight. And again, this is visible for everybody with a clear sky. I'm going to turn on our constellations and our, our, um, our lines here. So this is looking essentially straight up in the sky. Everybody can find the Big Dipper, Ursa Major. You can see the Big Dipper here, the Little Dipper right here, and you see the Tau Hercules right there. The constellation Hercules is right there. It's kind of right where you would see Hercules, um, basically his the tip of his leg right there. So I kind of threw it up there just so you could see what it looks like. Uh, there's a look at Butes, which is right there. So he's kind of at the tip of his spear. So right in that general area, if you like looking at constellation art that's kind of where it is now here's the key to this the, we are passing through the debris of a leftover comet this debris is from sw3 it's a comet that has been breaking up over the last couple of years the debris field we don't know how much is left that's why it's kind of hard to tell and the speed of it looks to be slowing down which you're probably saying what does that matter brad well slower moving particles don't burn up and become as vivid they're not visible but the one thing that could make this spectacular is that it's very high in the sky. As you can see, this is looking due west. And if you look straight up, I can actually put, um, let me put up the, uh, the lines here. You could see basically you got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. This is almost straight above our heads. So this is almost 90 degrees up into the sky, which is rare to have something that high up. And why is that important? Well, high up in the sky means you're looking through the least amount of atmosphere and there's no moon light tonight so it makes the sky very dark so what you're going to want to do if you want to go check this out uh, go out there around 12 45 to roughly 1 20 1 30 in the morning so you know 12 45 a.m to 1 30 a.m you're going to want to find as dark spot as possible you're going to want to look straight up that's my best bet i'm showing you where the radiant is best bets to look straight up let your eyes adjust do not stare at your phone at all because it'll readjust your eyes and it's only 45 minutes of your time, naked eye, looking straight up. If you see something, great. But again, this is an all or nothing kind of thing. It could be a huge bust. And I really think it'll be more of a bust. So if you're not really into these things and you're not up at that time, don't bother. But if you are and you love this kind of stuff, it's definitely worth taking a look because of how dark the sky is and the location of the sky with no moon tonight. So the Tau Hercules could be an impressive meteor burst or a media meteor bust. <laughs>